What's up, YouTube? I'm going to be doing a video on my CC3D settings for my ZMR from FPV models using all the uh, um, Dragonfly motors and ESCs. All right, so let's get this started here. I hope everyone could see this. Let me get you guys set up. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through my settings real quick. All righty. These are my bank one settings. These are all gonna be my bank one settings. And this is attitude mode with the self leveling on. I got my attitude set at 90, my rate set at 520, my rate yaw set at 400, and my factor set at 40. I have all these over here set to zero. I have my roll proportional, 21, integral, 40. The pitch I have at 24, 50, 70, 55 for the yaw. And then if I scroll down, sorry about the shaky video on it. I got them doing this for my hand. Scroll down. Now this is the outer loop. I got this. I have the roll proportional 21. Pitch 21. Yaw 24. And with these settings, it is very stable. Even on the descents, I have no, no isolation, anything like that. Now we're going to go to advanced settings. Up at top. Focus in a little bit. Attitude, I got the roll 90, pitch 90, yaw 90. The rate mode response, 520, 520, 400. Max rate limit, 380, 380, 55 on my yaw. Inner loop, proportional, 205. Pitch, 245, yaw 700. Integral, I got 400. For roll, pitch 500. Yaw 550. Derivative. I got roll 400. Pitch for or sorry, roll 40. Pitch 40. Yaw 20. On this side, this is the uh, attitude stabilization outer loop. Proportional. Roll 2.1. Pitch 2.1 and yaw 2.4. And then I also got uh, integral, I got the yaw at 300. Up here, this is the tr uh, thrust PID scaling. I'd, uh, I don't en enable these, but this is what I have them all set. So I got to set the PID roll pitch default. And then we'll go to expert. These are basically the settings that were left on. Right? I didn't mess with any of these. So I'll give you a quick look at these. So if you want, you could just basically pause in here. And then we are going to go to bank three. Now this is the, uh, this is rate mode with no auto level on. This, I flew this a couple times. Everything seemed really stable. I'm not really comfortable yet at flying this way in, uh, in rate mode. So, I mean, I did a couple laps with it. Um, when I did touch the sticks, they were very responsive. It was snappy, even though it says it's moderate. It still seemed really snappy in, in, with these levels, and uh, it was holding really, really well. When I hit forward, it never, um, it never like kind of sagged forward or went back into uh, auto level mode. Everything was uh, really locked in, is what it seemed like. But uh, again, I'm just not comfortable in flying this way, so maybe there's better settings out there than this. Um, but these seemed like they were really stable when I did have them set this way. So I'm going to show everyone these also. I got the attitude at 55, um, rate 220. Right yaw, 220, got my factor set to 50, proportional, 30, that's the roll, integral, integral, 65, pitch, 30, 65, yaw, 62, 100. Down. 
That's that was the inner loop. This is the outer loop. Proportional 25. Pitch 25. Yaw 25. And then we'll go to uh, to advanced. Okay, advanced. I got the roll 55. At attitude rate, I got 20, uh, 220. Max rate limit 300. Pitch set up same way. Yaw 35, 220, 300. Now for inner loop, I got the roll 300, 650. 20, pitch 300, 650, 20, yaw, 620, 1050. Over here, this is the uh, outer loop stabilization, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. That is it for this. All right, guys. I hope this helped you out. Um, expert mode is pretty much the exact same thing. Exact same thing. One other thing with the uh, the quad when you get it from uh, from FPV models, if you do flash the board and um, you erase all your settings before you fly this quad, the CC3D board when you reset it, it resets it with the USB in the back. I did not know that, so when I took off the first time, this thing freaked out on me. So what you got to do is when you reset this board up after you flash it and you put all of your uh, uh, all these settings in, you're gonna want to come over to this side. You're want to go to attitude, and then it's gonna be negative 90 on the yaw. And what that is gonna do is that's gonna turn the board 90 degrees, so where the USB is facing out the left side very important to do it if you don't do this after you reflash your board you cannot have it set up like this you'll have it set up you have to have it set up with the usb ports in the back so over here go to attitude yaw negative 90 very important um and then all the beginning i mean if, if i i didn't do the remote setup or anything like that over here i didn't i didn't do that uh to show you guys that or um the the vehicle setup there's a, a hundred videos on that so i just wanted to basically show you all my settings for the uh zmr 250 from fpv models using all the dragonfly escs and motors very 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 stable i also have a couple uh, of videos of uh it hovering in the garage and me just giving a little bit of gas i have a a few park flies with them most of the flights are like i said are uh in attitude mode so you will be able to see how stable it is, and the thing actually moves pretty fast in attitude mode, and uh, it's um, pretty agile. I mean, I really have no problems with it yet, so um, those are the settings. Um, subscribe, and I'm also going to be doing my settings. I have the, uh, the FMX over here. I got the FMX 250, so I'm going to be doing a review on that and also the, uh, the settings on that too. Um, subscribe if you like it. Um, any questions, uh, leave it down in the bottom in the comments. See ya.